Hello my sweets and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you this super cool feature in the new Clip Studio Paint where you can actually render your animations into open tunes. Where you can render your animation directly into open tunes format. So right here I have two layers. I have my figure and I have wings layer. So um, if I used my old process, which was rendering a sequence of images and then dragging that into open tunes, that would work. But I wouldn't be able to um, have separate layers unless I went through and did it. But if I um, save this as an open tunes file, I will have all of my layer information saved perfectly. So let's go and see how to do that. So we'll go to File, Export Animation, Open Tunes Scene File. Click on it. Um, it won't show the proper export folder when you go to it. Um, I, I don't remember what it'll try and save it to, but if you want it to show up in the Open Tunes window more easily, you want to find out where scenes are usually saved, which is like your main drive, Open Tunes Stuff, Sandbox, Scenes. And let's call this um, guy. <laughs> and press OK. And it will save it as an open tune scene while preserving layer data. So as soon as this is done, we will go and open up open tunes and uh, see how it looks. Okay, so we'll go and click open another scene, and here it is. Load. And here we go. And it even separated out the wings for us. So that is my favorite part about this Clip Studio Paint 2 Open Tunes export is that it remembers that there are different layers. It preserves that for you. So I will definitely be using this feature a whole lot in future projects because I really like the uh, vector functions in, that are available in Open Tunes, but I like the flexibility of sketching in Clip Studio Paint. So it'll be interesting to combine the two workflows. Alright, that is it for this tutorial. It is pretty quick, but there's not much to saving um, a Clip Studio Paint document to an open tune scene. So I hope this video was useful to you, sweets. Somebody's actually been requesting this tutorial for a while, so uh, thank you. I hope it's useful for you. Don't forget to be a sweet and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my new videos. I will see you guys later. Bye.